this is really quick and dirty and this isn't, you know, you, you have more stuff, but you guys should get the idea here. Okay, so I have one data sheet, two data sheet, right? And the question is, are these two the same or are they different, okay? So on this one, I've inserted a column. And can you guys see this? Do I need to make it bigger? I can see it. Oh, my okay. okay. That's cool. So um, does this have to be bigger too? Oh, shoot. Man. Golly. Okay. So here we go. <clears throat> so, I, so, so this would be like the data sheet that you have. And I've just inserted a, a column and made it all one so I can distinguish them again. Right. And this thing too. I inserted a column and I named these all number two, just so I have a tracker of that, right? So I'm gonna, oh, come, okay, I'm gonna come up and copy this, this data set that says, maybe I should merge it. Maybe there's some duplicates. Maybe there's some new stuff. I'm gonna put paste like that, okay? Now you're gonna also have road. So, so let's call this B is the road name, right? This is the time of day, how many kills, right? So that you could do this by many different levels. I would recommend for the road kill, you guys do road, date, and time, and then and then this this uh, 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 original or, or other data set sorter, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to here. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna select all these rows, and I'm gonna I'm gonna Mac, so it's a little teeny bit different on your PC, but but the functions are all exactly the same. They just live in a slightly different place. So in my case, I'm gonna come to this data thing and say sort, <clears throat> and I'm gonna say, okay, what do I want to sort it by? First, I want to sort it by road, which is B. So I'm gonna say by B. And then I want to sort it by the date. I didn't put a date in here, but I put date. And then I put it by the time. So I put put it by the time. And then I want to sort it by the by is it is it old data or new data, right? So I keep I do those those different brackets, and the last step would be old versus new. Does that make sense, you guys? Everybody with me on this one so far? Got it. I'd say okay. So now it's going to sort it. Again, what I can do is I can go back here and look. And every time it says road A at noon on May the 4th, I can ins inspect and look and see that, okay? Um, so if you just have a little bit of data, that might, might be the fastest way to do it. But what if you have uh, lots and lots of data, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rows? You still could do it by inspection, but that might take a while. So what we could do is we could do something like this. We could use an if then function, okay? So I'm gonna type, so equal sign makes us start the, start the, the operation. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is still messed up. <clears throat> so I'm gonna say if, and then what's the logical test? The logical test is, um, uh, let's say if this equals this, right? So that's what, so, so if we have duplicative data and we sort it by the road, date, and time, you guys with me? They're gonna be, they're gonna be bumping up against each other. They're gonna be right next to each other, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say, if this is true, in other words, if row one is the same as row two, I'm going to say, so if that's true, then I'm going to say, you know, I, I could, I could do various things. I could, I could say, you know, something like this. I could say dupe, right? Or I could say original. Okay. And then if I copy this and just paste it down. Right? So this is saying this row compared to this. Every time we change the date, right, it's gonna it's gonna force it to be it's gonna be different, right? But if I if I look at the pairs, right, the top of the pair is gonna tell me the answer. This is a dupe, this is a dupe, this is a dupe, but this is original. You guys get me? Got it. So and there's different ways to do that. Instead of saying dupe or original, you can make this just be, you know. Uh, zero and, and one or whatever. But so, so that's a simple way of using an if then on, on the, the next adjoining row to look for duplicates. There's other ways to do it too. There's more sophisticated ways, but, but that, that's just a quick and dirty one when you just have a little bit of data like you guys have. So again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a unique identifier so I can resegregate the data when I'm done. Or if I screw up, I can go back and you know, sh shift them back again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, sort the data so that if it really is duplicative, they're gonna be next to each other. And then I'm gonna try one of these functions to say, if this row is identical to that, you know, somehow tell me, right? You can also do, get real fancy where you do something like this and you say, if, it's, um, if it is equal, say one, and if it's different, just, 
just be blank, right? So you can do the same thing. So sometimes uh, that's easier to see, right? Visually look up and down. So there's all kinds of tricks like that. But I would do something along that order of magnitude to figure out if it's a dupe or not. Is that cool? Yeah. And so probably, I don't know, I would just guess if I'm not sure, if, if I said like that data sheet, I'm not sure if it's a duplicate, probably at least a decent chunk of it is a duplicate, right? And so I, yeah, I noticed, I looked through it, but it was just like, it's so many lines. It's just like, oh, right. need a better way to do this. Right, 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 right. Okay, cool. Cool. I'll stop this and I'll post this up for you guys later. Thank you.